glucose passing along the lumen of the small intestine is absorbed into the epithelial cells or enterocytes lining the gut through transmembrane sodium glucose symporter proteins designated SGLT1. The energetically unfavorable movement of glucose through the apical membrane of the enterocytes is coupled with the energetically favorable movement of two sodium ions from outside to inside along a concentration gradient. Sodium potassium ATPase pumps in the basal lateral membrane. Sodium potassium ATPase pumps in the basal lateral membrane of the enterocytes maintain a negative electrochemical gradient that drives the SGLT uptake of sodium and thus glucose. Glucose passes through the epithelial cells and out through the basolateral membranes into the interstitial space GLUT2. through GLUT2 facilitated glucose transport proteins. Blood-borne glucose is taken up through GLUT2 transporters on the plasma membrane of pancreatic beta cells. GLUT2 with a substantial transport rate increases as extracellular concentration of glucose rise causes a proportionate increase of glucose conversion to pyruvate resulting in an increase in ATP concentration in the cytosol. ATP sensitive potassium channels on the cell membrane close reducing efflux of potassium ions and raising the voltage potential in the interior of the cell. The potential rise triggers voltage sensitive calcium channels on the cell membrane to open allowing the cytosolic calcium concentration to increase. The increase in calcium concentration signals insulin bearing vesicles to fuse with the plasma membrane, thus secreting their cargo. Insulin, a relatively small protein of 5.7 kilodaltons, is synthesized as a single polypeptide chain possessing a signal sequence for uptake by secretory vesicles. Once there, a large portion of the central chain is cleaved along with the signal sequence producing two polypeptides that are subsequently interconnected by disulfide bonds. This proinsulin remains in the vesicles until the uptake of glucose signals the conversion to insulin through the action of certain peptidases. GLUT4 has a low rate constant allowing a quick uptake of glucose. Once in the cell, the glucose is quickly phosphorylated so that it will not diffuse back out of the cell, thus maintaining intracellular glucose concentration. The glucose can continue down the glycolysis pathway to provide energy for the cell, or it can be converted into UDP glucose by uridyl transferase and subsequently assembled into glycogen by glycogen synthase. Insulin receptor substrate 1, or IRS1, co-localizes with a membrane receptor on the cytosolic side of the membrane, where it too becomes phosphorylated at multiple tyrosine residues. IRS1 plays a key role in the transmission of metabolic signals through the PI3K, or phosphatidyl 
inositol-3 kinase pathway.